Hello. Welcome. Hi. Come on in. Welcome to Ooh. the Omnath house type. It's a Barrett home and we are on the Lilies development in Shrewsbury. Woo. Welcome. So this is a house type we have never been in before. No. So we're very excited. It's a view home. And what does that mean? It basically means it's not being done out like a show home. It's not had an interior designer in it. No. But this house is actually, this exact house is currently for sale and ready to move in. You can have this house. You can! We don't often get to do that. No, you can have this house that we have been in. <laughs> so, <laughs> turn around, look at this hallway. It's huge, this hallway. Yeah. It's a thing, there are so many doors, so many caverns to go and explore, I can't wait. It's gorgeous. So, uh, obviously there's one of these things on the door, it's like the developer Ready to move in. Ready to move in. So this will be gone. Yeah. So you've got your privacy glass, you've got your letterbox, and you've got your security chain and latch. There will be a selection of, well, this house comes as it is, but if you're buying this uh, house type on a different plot, depending on when you get in, you'll be able to pick your own yeah. choices of flooring and whatever. So should we have a look in here? Let's have a look. Okay. Ooh, cupboard. cupboard! There we go. Right. So you've got all your media points down at the bottom there. You've yeah. got your fuse box, and this is probably good for shoes, coats. Yeah, mop bucket, hoover, yeah. vacuum. Things you don't want on show. No. Handy to have a cupboard in yes. the hallway. Shall we do this door? Yeah, let's go there. By the way, we never see the floor plans. No. So we will pop a full floor plan and room dimensions at the end of the video. This is a mystery tour for us. Ooh! Oh, wow, it's huge! Oh, wow. This is enormous. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, look at this. <laughs> you it's look huge. so small over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because I am small. Uh, this is ginormous. It is. It's absolutely huge. Wow. Okay. I like this room. Yeah. You could have whatever size sofa you want in here. Yeah, so they've currently got a three-seater over here and a two-seater here. All these cushions, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in them. You're gonna sink. Oh, yes. No, this but. Is nice. So your TV obviously will go there. There is a, yeah. there'll be a media plate. Behind that unit. Yes. This is huge. It is huge. And they've got this like a single chair over there. They can have a little reading nook. Yes. You can make this room really cozy. Absolutely. So you've got um, French style doors with two extra windows and side panels. So it's very light, very yep. airy. Got your radiator, there's plenty of plug sockets all the way around the room. You've got double light, so obviously you'll be able to have some fun choosing whatever light fixture you want to go there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just a huge room. Now the one thing that I like about this design already, I can see, now I think Ooh. the kitchen is there. Ooh. So you've got this little kind of courtyard area where basically you've got the kitchen the same doors and these. It's with, there's a nice flow. Yeah. So imagine in the summer, you've got your patio chairs out. You're having a barbecue. You can come out of here into the kitchen. Yeah. It's a nice flow. Also, if you did want to, planning permission, um, you know, if you've got planning permission, you could potentially build an orangery or a conservatory to connect the rooms through. Yeah. It would be, this is a thumbs up from me. Many opportunities. You can see a hint of the garden as well. So yes. This, obviously, there's a bit of an L shape, so it goes around. So this would be a typical size plot for this house yeah. type. But this is also typical of how you'd receive your garden. You get yeah. a little bit of a patio and then it would just be turfed. But then yeah. it's ready for you to do whatever you want to do. And it. I do believe that is a, is it a single garage? Or a single garage. A single garage, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this is ticking all the boxes so far. I like it. What do you think? It's stunning. Yeah. And we're not even finished. No, we're only done the one room. Uh, so, it's quite a nice width of... Yeah, the way, you're not going to be bumping into each other walking down. No. What do you think's in here? I'm going to wager a downstairs toilet. No. No? No. Oh, it's a dining it's room. It's a huge dining room. Oh, wow. So you've got a six-seater table in here at the moment. You could have an extra... As yeah, well. but if you wanted to keep it six seats, you can move this back a little bit and there's space down here to have like a bar or a bar cart, have your drinks. A lot of drinks. A lot of drinks. A lot of porn star martinis. <laughs> uh, no, this is lovely. So remember, a dining room doesn't have to be a... Dining room. What else could it be? It could be a study, it could be a man cave, it could be a kid's playroom. Extra bedroom. Extra bedroom, living room, whatever you want it to be. I mean, it's quite nice to have a separate dining room because 
You know what it's like in the kitchen. You've cooked, there's pots and pans everywhere. You don't always want to look at it. No. Unless you're a very tidy cook. Um, I'm a very tidy <laughs> cook. Not very tidy. Um, mm. uh, or you could just come into your dining room, shut off the kitchen, yeah. and you've got mess free. Mess free, you can all sit down. Dining, family dining, yeah. Christmas, birthdays, Easter, whatever occasion. Parties, board game nights. It's gorgeous. Because a dining table doesn't have to be used just for eating food. No, you have games. Like, games nights, uh, family conferences. Yeah, and it's very light and bright. There's plug sockets everywhere. Yeah. I like it. Stunning. Very stunning. Right. We've got more doors. We do have well, more we've doors. we've got one that hasn't got a door. No. But it will have a door. It will have a door. I'm not quite sure why the door is off, but... Um, it just obviously just needs to be replaced with something. But there is a... There is a downstairs loo. There is a downstairs loo. So you've got handy. your Gerber toilet and a shelf at the back yeah. as well, for, um, as they put here, like an air freshener or a reed diffuser. Yeah. And then you've got your Gerber little corner sink with some little tiles around it as well. And a radiator. Perfect. Yeah. What else do you need on a loo? You don't. What do you think's in here, then? Oh. We've seen the living room. We've seen the dining room. We know roughly where the kitchen is. Oh, it's a study. <gasps> it's a study. Look at Oh, wow. Place. It's not actually the book. It's one of those boxes. Ah, uh, there we go. But it says sense must mix with sensibility. Yeah. Um, it's a very handy extra space. It is very handy. But I also like this weekly planner. Oh, yeah. It's like a board that you can write on and rub off. I like that. Um, That's cute. So again, you could use this for whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, study playroom an extra single bedroom yeah another man cave yeah, it's, yeah sometimes I feel like I need a man cave do you I think yeah. I need it. you've got <laughs> one the study <laughs> what have I got you've got the living room <laughs> ooh ooh wow okay, okay on the corner aren't you wow okay this is huge kitchen and there's another door Oh, is there? Ooh. Yeah. So, where would you put the table? I think we'd put our kitchen table. No, yeah. actually, it could go over here. Yeah, in the centre of the room, kind of here, so you're next to the door. So you could almost use the table like an island. Yeah. And then you could have a corner sofa here. So you've got kitchen, dining, living. living. So you could also reverse it and have the table here. Yeah. And have a bit of seating over, the head, over here. Hmm. Very versatile. Something to think about. Yes, and again, you can, if you look from this way, there's the, there's the living room. Oh, there they are. Hello. So, do you see what I mean? You yes. Have, it's got a nice flow about it. Shall we have a rummage? Oh, go on then. And then we'll do that door over there. Okay. Okay, so top cupboard. Yeah. We have an AEG. That was like an oven grill. grill. Yeah. And then we've got the same, but we've got a fan assisted oven at the bottom. And grill, I believe. Um, and then there's a cupboard right below. There we go. Okay. We have, oh, we've got glasses. Oh, glass doored cupboards. So there will be different um, kitchen cabinet yeah. choices available, but this home is already kitted out. Yeah. So this is what you would get. Is that Bottom glass, cupboard? Yeah. It? I like it. Uh, isolation switches. You've got your uh, stainless steel cooker, tractor rod, gas, hob. Cutlery. The worktop is looks like it's a marble effect. Yes. On that one. We've got a pan the, drawer. Yeah, now these are the upgraded version because they've got the glass sides. Yeah. And same again down below. I like a nice pan drawer. So here we have, have another cupboard. Another cupboard. And then we've got another glass cupboard. So I'd put like your fancy wine glasses in yeah, there. Yeah, uh, there's plenty of uh, cabinets oh, space. Oh yeah. Under sink cupboard. Double under sink cupboard. And you've got your um, stainless steel sink and a half. Oh, I like the fact that the window is almost the same height as the. Yeah, that's cute. It kind of almost just kind of flows out. So you can see a little bit how the garden wraps around as well. Yeah. Uh, we have a corner where you can put your microwave or kettle, whatever. Uh, oh, have I missed one? Oh, dishwasher. So this is a AEG. We also have. Another double cupboard. Another double cupboard. We have a wine very important cooler. wine cooler. This is right there. Okay, let's have a look in here. We have a ah, fridge, freezer. We do. 
Uh, so this one's AUG. Again, it's typical of the UK to have fridge freezer. Yeah. Normally the split is more generous to the fridge. Than, than the, the freezer. freezer. So That's probably because I like big bottles of milk. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? That's... Yeah. For tea. Yeah. Right. We drink lots of tea in the UK, don't we? We do. What is in here? Ooh. Oh, it's a utility. It's a utility. Oh, this is so your favourite room already. This is, this is the space where the washing machine could go. Dryer could go. You've got a nice sort of L-shaped counter space. Yeah. Oh, should I have a rummage? Oh, yeah. There's another cupboard down there. They're a nice shallow cupboard. I yes. do quite like a shallow cupboard because you're not reaching at the back no. to get things. So, uh, boiler. boiler. Ideal logic. Oh, now it's nice to see this. I'm impressed. Why am I impressed? Because it's somewhere for pegs. Everyone should have a peg bag and peg basket. It should be given, when you leave school in the UK, you should be gifted a peg bag and pegs and told how to use it. <laughs> Never mind. Rant over. So we've got plug sockets. So you, you can actually put your microwave in here. Yeah, if you didn't want it on show. And we've got... Oh! oh. There's your washer dryer. So you can have a washer and dryer separate. Yeah. yeah, or if you had a washer washer dryer, that That's space there could be for laundry. It could also be somewhere for pet food, yeah. um, a pet bed, whatever. You could just use it for pets. And it's not a, it's not a cave in here. You've got a window as well. Yeah. And an extractor fan. Perfect. What else do you need? I like this. Yeah, I think I'm sold. <laughs> I wouldn't know where your favourite room is. Oh, there's also space for TV here. Oh, perfect. There you go. So I think I was pos... Hmm, maybe you'd want... Yeah, you probably would want your sofa there. Yes. So you can see the TV over here, and then you can have a couple of chairs, and um, a table yeah. in the middle. I'm impressed by the kitchen. There's also under-counter lights as well. Oh, you? there is. There we go, under-kickboard well. lights. Yeah. Cool. Okay, shall we go upstairs? Let's venture forth. Let's go. Da -da -da. It is like a bit of an exploration journey. It is. By the way, let us know if you are if you enjoy these kind of show, not show home, but the view homes where it's not so show homey. It's not been done by a designer. No. Let us know if you enjoy them. Uh, so there's a toadstool. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet. Eating her Cadbury's cream eggs. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I wish. I'm on sugar free, my loves. I have. I know. Shock horror. Right. Bedrooms. Ah, uh, four bedrooms. Yeah. Good sized bedroom. You could have wardrobes all the way across there. But that would mean getting rid of the tuffet. I can move the tuffet. I want this. I'm taking this home with <laughs> me. You think I'm joking. Right. Window. Over. Oh, you can see more of the garage. There will, there'll be a wall down the middle of the garages. Yeah. So when it's a shared garage, it's not like you're sharing the actual no, garage with your neighbour. it's divided in the middle. Yeah. There we go, you can okay. see the rest of the garden too. Yeah. Okay, perfectly sized bedroom. Liking that one. Okay. What's in Covered. here? Boiler. Boiler. Thanks. Oh, oh. So this is a King's Kingspan. Kingspan heating system. It's a heating yeah. filling loop. You need one in your home. You could also put a few corner shelves and stores. You and could. As well if you really wanted to. I can see a huge bedroom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, wow, is this the main bedroom? Oh. Memories. Memories. I, la, 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 la. I mean, cats now. <laughs> right. Okay. I've gone delirious. This is a huge room. It is, it's massive. I'm going to stand right in yeah. the corner. I'm going to avoid the, the second tuffet. So you could have, I think, a super king size bed in here. Yeah. Because it's big enough. Plenty of space for your bedside cabinets. You've got two windows. Two windows. Um, and where Matt is stood, if you, Matt comes over this way, there's space for a whole bank of wardrobe. Oh, yeah. You could go all the way across. But I don't think you need to. Why don't you need to? Because, look, there's another door here. Ooh. Oh, wow. So there's a... There is a built-in cupboard space. Is that space. a built-in closet? It is. You don't normally get those in the UK, do you? No. Know? You don't normally get an actual built-in cupboard in UK homes. No. But you have here. Wow, so you can have double height rails, all kinds of things going on. Doors. The pair of shoes on the floor. Don't you even think about it. Are they my size? I'm not. It can't be two of us with broken feet. Right. Ooh, the light switch. On the end side. Right. Bathroom. Well, en suite shower room. Ooh. So we've got, again, uh, Geberit sanitary wear. You've got heated towel rail. And you've got... 
and shower. Oh, perfect. Complete with loofah. Air, so you can scrub all your bits and pieces. With plenty of space as well. There is plenty of space. Um, so I'm not sure if there are shower upgrades, whether or not you can get a rainfall, but you need to check with your sales negotiator. They will answer all questions. This is a nice shower, beautiful tiles. I think if anyone, if any one of our viewers purchases this home, they'll be impressed by the tiles. Yes. Um, I, I actually, I quite like the choices. Yeah, from what um, we've seen, there's been nothing that I've disliked. No, I quite like it. So, we'll just check the glide as oh, well. Good glide. Yes. Yes. Nice glide, nice suction, nice pull away. You've got to check your glide. Space uh, in here as well to put your laundry basket if, you, if you've got one. Um, yeah. Perfect. Like right. right, which door did we come in? I can't remember. There's a thermostat as well. This one, there we go. <laughs> which door? Oh, there's a huge family bathroom. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. I like this. Wow, so, wow. you've got separate standard size bath. bath. Can, you, can you see that one? Yeah. Um, and then we've got a separate shower as well. Yeah. So the shower is pretty much the same as the yeah. one I've just been in. You've got plenty of space in here. Oh yeah, um, You're not, you can yeah. you can run around in here if this you is wanted. A proper family sized bathroom. Uh, and there's a, there's another loofah, but this one's a sponge. Oh, it's a sponge on a stick. Oh. Isn't that what the Romans used to use <laughs> for other things? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about the Romans. How many, how many times do UK men think about the Romans? <laughs> That's the first time I thought about the Romans in a while, but it's oh. a whole thing. Right. An extra bedroom. Another bedroom, another big bedroom. Yeah. So again, they've got a single bed in here, but it could quite easily have a super king. Very easily. And still have space for your easel and paintbrushes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to get painting. Just call me Monet. Ah! Exchange. Right. Uh, oh, I like this lamp, actually. That's quite nice. Yeah, that's funky. Like that. But yeah, a perfect size room. There's plenty of space for wardrobes as well. Oh yeah, all down this one all side. Down that side over there. Yeah, I can smell the reed diffuser from here. It actually smells really nice. Mm. 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 So, I, well, I'm sure if you want the reed diffuser, talk to the sales advisor. They might be able... It's um, the I Am Lucky Purity Lab. Mm. So ask specifically for yeah. this. It does smell nice, actually. I wish we had... Oh! I wish we had smelly vision. Now, do we think these suit... They match your jumper. Do they? Do I look cool? You do. Okay. I'm taking that as a no. <laughs> right, let's go to the... Oh, there's one more drawer here. What is it? Ah, uh, it's an upstairs cupboard. Okay. There's plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. And there's a loft. There is a loft Space directly above me. And then final room. Oh. Oh, wow. It's okay. Big. It's a big room. I was not expecting that. I thought no, this was going to be a little dinky room. It's not the main room. But it's a, it's a big room. This is like the, the room you move your kid in when they're a teenager. Yes. Or like a really fancy guest room. Yes. This is nice. So you've got a big window. There's another window where Matt is. Um, I quite like this house, this window, because you've got a very commanding view of the street. Ooh, yes. So if you are a bit of Ooh, a curtain yeah. twitcher like me, this is a perfect spot to, to see come, who's coming. To see who's coming and going. I we've got a, a window like this in our house, and sometimes I'll just sit down with my cup of tea with your monocular, and I'll be able to see exactly what's going on. I quite like this, my loves. Right, I'm sold. I really am sold. Right, <laughs> we need to go find our favourite room then. What well, What would you do with this area? Ooh, room. I'd There's maybe some... have a little desk. Do you know what? You could have an extra work, yeah, an extra working from home space. Yeah. If this was a spare bedroom, yeah. you could have guest accommodation there and then a bit of an office. Yeah, space. split the room in half. Let us know in the comments, how would you use this extra bit of space here? Right, yes, Matt's right, we need to find our... Favourite favorite room. room. Okay, we are in the living room. We if are. If you didn't guess. Why yeah. have we chosen the living room? Because it's huge! It is ginormous. Yeah. There are some huge rooms in this house. There are. Uh, so yeah, I just... Really like this house. It's versatile. I don't think it would appeal to just one type of buyer. No. I think it could just appeal to anyone. It could even be if you're in a multi generational household, it's very flexible accommodation. Yes. Uh, if you've got guests coming over from other countries, if you're moving to the country and you might have overseas visitors, it's very flexible accommodation. Yeah. I think it's um, a really good, strong house type, a good contender for your oh, next yes. home. And What's more important, you can have this very home, the one that we're in now. Now, the development, 
in general, the Lilies is going to still be being built on for the next two years. So don't think you've missed out. This house type is available on other plots. Um, so if you want details on all of that, we have a link. Yes, we have a form in the description box below. If you just pop in your details, it will go straight to the lovely salespeople here at the Lilies and they'll get in contact with you at a time that suits you. And if you fill in that form, they will know that you've seen our video. Yeah. Um, and also ask about incentives and extras as you well. You never know. You if you don't ask, know. you don't get. If you don't ask, you don't get. So, the area. Oh, the area. Shrewsbury is probably one of my favourite places. I used to live here for about four years before I met Elliot, and I had a whale of a time. It's got vast green spaces in the town centre, a really quirky historic like market town with some really old actual oh. Tudor buildings that are a little bit lean to. They're gorgeous. It's stunning. Uh, lots of quirky bars and restaurants. There's always some kind of event going on somewhere. It, it's just a fun place to live. You're never too far from getting to somewhere else in the country. There's the train station, which you can get pretty much anywhere in the country. So the from. train station can go to Birmingham that connects straight to London. As well. Um, you've got the main dual carriageway that'll link to the M54 motorway. You've got a main road into Wales and mid Wales towards the coast. And you've even got a road that leads to the north of England straight from about 200 yards down the road from here. So you are connected to almost anywhere in the country. And what's more, this development is only a very easy bus ride away yeah. from the main Shrewsbury Centre. Gary Barlow lives here. Yeah, the creator of The Walking Dead lives here. Yeah, so it's a, a fabulous place to live and bring up your family and yeah. move to. So if you like what you've seen, give it a big old thumbs up, hit the bell and subscribe so you get notified for all future videos. But from us here at The Lilies, to you all and goodbye. goodbye.